go. Welcome back to class. It's kind of sometimes a little much. There's my turn on the haunches. So here I'm going straight to my direct and drive exercise. I'm looking for this left front shoulder to step around onto the circle. It's just so common for these horses to get stuck in the shoulders. And so that's one of the first places I'll go if I'm confident about the hind quarters is to get a little bit of established direction of the shoulders, which will then overall help them with not just the physical side, but also the mental willingness to be guided. Little Pico! Oh, Jesus! I had a feeling that was in there. Pico! Welcome back to class! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Welcome back! Classes in session. <laughs> it's always the sweet ones. Just go forward, little Pico. No, see, forward. So happy Pico ended his first day back to work, focused, relaxed, understanding. Now let's see how it carries over to day number two. See there, when he sits going forward, he's got to find softness in the halter on the, for the groundwork and to be ridden. But here I'm putting pressure on and see, that's his emotional response, is just to kind of get out of town. This is taking all these foundational exercises. We're not really dilly-dallying. We're kind of jumping in here and kind of helping him figure things out. And then when he gets unsure, see how his reaction, that's like, that wouldn't work under saddle. Like, anybody that gets on something that's gonna act like that, they're kind of silly. It doesn't mean I won't get on him in 30 minutes. Or less. I don't know, we'll see. There's the consistency and how we're gonna handle that. And then he gets confident in the consistency because I can be fair to him. That's pretty good. He's, move, he's able to move his feet. He's able to relax. The idea that this horse is pretty quiet is a really nice thing. I just got to be able to get a quiet horse where I can move his feet. It's pretty nice. So that's pretty normal. He comes to the side that he's thought that we've been going to. Wait, don't pull him through this. You just keep that constant pressure just enough to where they have to sort it out. You guys want to talk about see the rigidness that he's been carrying in his body? Just wait, no, no, I'm not trying to pull, I'm not pulling on him. All this commotion comes from the stiffness in his body. I'm just doing just enough to keep him from pulling the lead rope out of my hands. There it comes on his eye. I'm gonna go ahead and swing up here like he's grandma's horse. Good job, buddy. She might be a little intimidating for him. He's not quite, quite wanting to go over there next to her because she's been, she's kind of, just the energy that she carries is kind of sometimes a little much. There's my turn on the haunches. 
always just building these pieces in. All right, I'll post on him as soon as I can, but this horse, I want to feel, make him comfortable. There. Yeah, soft and stand. He's not, he's trying to test the water, see if he can go past her. I trust her not to kick him. But she's got a pretty close gap there. You can tell who kind of rules the roost in here. So, here, I'll bend him, so I'm just gonna pick up soft. Well, of course she moves. What a great first two days bringing this young horse back into work. We progressed through areas of resistance, found focus, understanding, and relaxation. He moves so fluently and I can't wait to see how he progresses.